Now let's return now to that controversy over what an American businessman said about the French work ethic. So are French workers really lazy? And what does that mean, not only for the French economy, but potentially the rest of Europe? Joining us is Danielle Belton. She is a blogger at Black Snob. She joins us live now from St. Louis with more on this. And uh, let me ask you straight off the top there, uh, Danielle. We have something of a transatlantic clash here between the French and uh, the United States. That's nothing new. But does Morris Taylor, the American businessman, uh, does he have a point that French workers are unproductive, or is he just being anti-French, anti-union? I think to a certain extent he is just b being anti-French, anti-union, because the reality is we're talking about two entirely different cultures when it comes to how we view work. In America, there is this sense of this Puritan work ethic. It kind of goes back to our, our founding roots, uh, the Calvinists and the, the Puritans, where it's looked at your worth comes through your hard works. How you go in life, how you advance, how you succeed, it's all based on how hard you're willing to work. There's a whole mythology uh, built around it in our culture. So that's why you have even the poorest of Americans who will be afraid to go apply for unemployment or afraid to go out and seek help because they feel it's a sign of weakness. Because obviously you get rewarded only when you work hard. If you can't work hard, there must be some moral failing about you. And so that's the psychology that you're up against here. That's where that, that kind of arrogance come fr comes from. Because they would look at somebody who understands what their worth is, who understands what their tax dollars are worth, like the French do, and demand the type of services that come with paying higher taxes. They're only asking for what they've already paid into the system. Whereas in there's a certain American mindset that says it's almost wrong to uh, ask for something back from the system you've paid into. I guess it's not so much uh, how we look at work on either side of the Atlantic, but how we look at what we're not doing, uh, at least what we're doing when we're not working. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's just, there's such a negative perception uh, towards the unemployed for people who are poor or struggling in the United States. Uh, there's such a stigma for it. I mean, we have more people unemployed uh, in, a, in a long time with the, the recession that's been happening over the last few years. And there has been a great deal of shame. A lot of people talk, in America talk about feeling worthless, uh, feeling like even though they're educated, even though they're hardworking, even though they've done everything to try to produce and be uh, productive parts of the system, it feels like it's, the things are stacked against them because there's such a negative stigma for people to be out of work. But it, this is this little spat that we're seeing uh, between this American businessman and the French minister. I mean, it's symptomatic of what French-American relations have been for a very long time, haven't they? I mean, we're not, don't we remember? Almost uh, definitely. Fr Freedom Fries, that was the one that, you know, started <laughs> it all back, uh, well, about 12 years ago, 13 years ago. Well, it's all very silly. I mean, there's this uh, ideology right now coming from the uh, right wing of the United States where things that are considered to be European or French, they, you know, they, they kind of refer to it as socialism, almost using socialism the same way people would talk about communism in the past. A lot of people who are throwing these words around, though, have no actual understanding of what they mean. That's why they're able to use them so loosely. I mean, people accuse Barack Obama, the you know, current president, of being a socialist. And he is, I, just, if you're an actual socialist, you're like appalled. Like, it makes absolutely no sense. Uh, there is no American president that's a socialist. We're a very capitalist country. Uh, the, the fact that you have people who feel guilty for accepting unemployment from the state when they've paid their taxes for that unemployment is evident, uh, evident of that, of the fact of where the socialist movement is here in the United States. So there's this tendency to discount things that come from Europe as being bad or weak, but it's, 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 it's ludicrous. It's purely just politics being played on one side in order to push an agenda that's very pro-capitalist, very pro-business here in the States. Okay, thanks, Daniel. Daniel Belton, they're talking to us from St. Louis.